Oh, hello. I'm Ron Charles. You may know me as the very stable genius of the book world. I was so excited to hear about this new TV show called The Handmade Tale because, well, I just love handmade things. And then I found out it's based on a book, which is just so DIY. But it turns out the author isn't American, and I don't really like to read books in translation. And besides, there's just been a lot of pretty weird novels recently from lady authors, which is so unbecoming. I hate to say it, but this isn't a new problem. Way back in 1666, the wife of William Cavendish wrote one of the earliest examples of science fiction called The Blazing World. I haven't actually read it, but I saw blazing saddles and I thought it was hilarious. In 1915, Charlotte Perkins Gilman wrote a novel called Her Land about a place inhabited only by women. Which is clearly crazy. And there's been all kinds of unpleasant feminist science fiction from nasty women like Joanna Russ and Marge Piercy and Ursula K. Le Guin. One of the best stories, not surprisingly, was written by a man named James Tiptree Jr. It's called Houston, Houston, Do You Read? About three astronauts rescued, get this, by a ship of women. Last year, Naomi Alderman published a dystopian novel called The Power that imagines women can electrocute men with their hands. Ron, it's not a dystopia, it's a fantasy. And now there's this new novel out called Red Clocks by Lenny Zumas. The story is set in a small Oregon town in a future that Mike Pence can almost see if he stands on his pew. The personhood amendment to the U.S. Constitution has nullified Roe v. Wade and criminalized abortion. Give me your rich, your white, your huddled spermatosa yearning to break free. And America finally gets that desperately needed wall, the pink wall, along the northern border to make sure deranged pregnant ladies don't sneak into Canada to take control of their own bodies. Unfortunately, all the main characters in Red Clocks are women. A school teacher, a student, a wife, a natural healer, and, you know, I'd rather read about important people. Also, the story is a little confusing, so like a woman, because it keeps jumping around, showing us exactly how these characters think. Woven through the novel are snippets of the biography of a 19th century woman who became a polar explorer. But she couldn't publish her research because scientists knew better than, you know, to listen to a woman. I don't even know why that story is in here. It doesn't relate at all. You know, when I hear complaints about all these shrill feminist novels nowadays, <laughs> all I can think is me too. Fortunately, the publishing industry has ways to try to shut that whole thing down. Well, time's up. For the Totally Hip Video Book Review, I'm Ron Charles, hoping you make good reading choices.